Hello, today I'm going to be talking from 2 Corinthians 8, verse 6. And guess what I'm talking about? Yes, I'm talking about giving, because this is our giving season. Now, uh, let's just read the verses. The point is this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one must give as he's decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. So that's uh, verses 6 to 8 and 2 Corinthians 8. And first of all, what we need to know is that giving has to be given voluntary. It can't be forced, it can't be pushed, no matter how many times Ian, Gabby, Richard talk about giving. We're not forcing you to do anything. We're appealing to you, but actually we're appealing you to you to serve the Lord in an exciting way. We're appealing to you uh, to do yourself a favour and, and give to the Lord. The second thing is that um, sowing, um, <laughs> sowing or giving um, should be done sacrificially. It should be done in a way that slightly hurts so that we can see God make up for the rest in our lives. The third thing is it should be proportionate to what we have. Each person uh, must give as he's decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And proportionate means that if you earn £50 a week, then to give a gift of £30 would be perhaps well over the top. Perhaps, but for other people, uh, you might earn £50 an hour. And so therefore, actually a gift of £30 is, is probably not stretching your giving bone far enough. So let's think about it the proportionately to our income, proportionately to our means. But also let's be generous. Let's be generous to God's work because God gave us everything in the first place. So let's just give back to him. And this verse says, God loves a cheerful giver. So let's do this joyfully. Let's be excited about giving. Let's be excited about sowing into the kingdom of God. Because whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Let's go for it. Let's try to reap bountifully. Wouldn't it be wonderful to see our church growing and our ministries growing and more people coming? And wouldn't it be wonderful to see um, the church in full repair uh, with a fantastic working boiler, all of these things that we're going to be doing over the next few years. But this isn't about maintaining a historic building. This is about furthering the kingdom of God and the building helps us to do that. So please do pray about what you're going to give. Please do pray about how cheerful you can be about it. And if you don't feel very cheerful, well, keep giving till you're cheerful. Uh, that's apparently what some people say. I don't know. But I, I just love to give and I pray that you will too. Lord Jesus, I pray that uh, each of us will know in our hearts or decide in our hearts what we can give to you at this time. And I pray that you would help us to be consistent and generous um, with the amounts of money that we have and um, with all our talents and, and everything, Lord, because we would long uh, to reap bountifully for your kingdom. In Jesus' name. Amen.